How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. I'm inside. What now? The President's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my Vice President's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Are you and sure? what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. Yeah. What did you think? Of what? The speech? I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come. Now. Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Oh. Do you now? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. Prissy writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. The chances. You don't like Samson. I don't trust Samson. But. We're both. This is. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet, let, let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. 
Megiddo paid for this operation, and Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere, because my men will deal with him, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Would you say that? The eyes of history. We will be making history. Make no mistake about that. I'd rather keep our part of things out of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance. Cover's important. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance, or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. <coughs> Galliard. Mr. Galliard. My name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was... Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Galliard. Mr. No, Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides, and was wondering if you'd be open to further... You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. So why does Reed want you out of town? Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours they go off and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. <laughs> Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the one... Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. 
We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Just ducked into the VIP tent. Move it, Sam. We can't let you go. when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. This guy's a cop killer! Sam? He's waiting for you. This is the police! Sam! Over there! God damn it! Come on! Come on! You're surrounded! Give it up! On the move again, Sam. Officer in trouble! Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off and killed with the shooter. Then the gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. The Lincoln Memorial. Police are reporting a real life deadly accident at the Lincoln Memorial later that morning. Area looks clear. Are we sure this is still in the Lincoln Memorial zone? A fatal heart attack while visiting the memorial itself. He was taken to the Washington Mercy Hospital and pronounced dead on arrival. Meanwhile, a multiple car pileup in the Nothing same area the has been on the scene. There is no word yet. Police advised drivers to take it off to a Okay, sir, 
around here. We better hurry before the cops come back. Jesus Christ! Fisher, not inside. Where's he at? Where's the target? Over there! I think I see Jesus. him! Jesus! Make sure to check the cafe and the terrace! Fisher can hide anywhere! Quit the Holy! Got you! Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. at you, Sam. Do not have a visual on Fisher. We'll see who's laughing when I put my boot up your ass. No visual on the contact. Can anyone advise? No visual on Fisher. <laughs> Shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. Damn it! You've been detected. The
worried about someone wandering in by accident? I must have got a way to crack the new encryption routine on the key cards. I still think we should have gone with Paul Red Skin as It's Reed's call, not ours. Things were secure, so I guess we're secure. Nothing's on the Get a move on, Sam. My contact on the inside just sent me a text. Security's looking for him. He's a techie named Charlie Fryman. And before you ask, yes, I trust him. Well, that's good enough for me. Where is he? Near the Son server room. Bitch, fuck! Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help. God damn! <laughs>
Forget it, Sam. Forget it, Sam. Attention all personnel, please remember to keep your key card with you at all times. Without your key card, you will not be able to access the building and may be detained until proof of your identity can be provided. Thank you. Come on, man, I know you're out there. Show yourself. Sam, the one thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter, as the enemy, as the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth, it was waiting for him.
I'm sorry. We're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable. But if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr... Fisher. I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Security... Sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable. But if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher. I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. Sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable. But if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher. I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. The emergency power will be online in five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. just sent me his location. He's waiting for you in the office off the server room. Got it. Destroy. Find the hostile and take him out. No sign of Fisher. Uh huh. Shit. Fisher's at it again. He's in our house, gentlemen. Find him. No sign of movement. Yes, Fisher is still hiding. Put an end to it. No contact. 
No movement. That will do. No sign of hostile activity. Fisher won't try his luck here. That'd be fucking crazy. No targets at this time. Man down! Hostiles in the building. Anybody Fisher! The no no contact. Way. Looks clear. Sam Fisher's not around. I got signs of a possible ambush. Get ahead. Holding position. Hold position and wait for the contact. There's Fisher! Hold up. Keep your eyes open for the target. alive in our building. Watch your back. Close. Really close. Ooh. I'm not Careful. finding anything. We know who set off the alarm. Still don't see Fisher. Are we sure he's here in third? Damn! Yeah, you set off the alarm. No fissure, no employees left, nothing. The area ahead no signs of movement, keep playing it safe. Mother- Jesus Christ! We got likely airport right ahead, I'm holding position here. No sign of hostile activity. Fisher won't try his luck here. That'd be fucking crazy. Get everybody out. Watch for movement. Jesus! Nothing 
Nothing unusual to report. You think that's funny? Watch this. No contact. Looks clear. Sam Fisher's not around for now. Next. Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. Voila. With these babies, you can see in the dark. You can see through walls, you name it. It's not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam and a turret targets the break. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, is... Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. Find the hostiles and terminate! Fuck huh? me! Cover that position! He's gotta be there! The area's compromised. We're gonna hold position here. This area is a no-go. I'm holding position. Find him kill him now! No sign of him yet. Fisher's still in our building and he's on the loose. I repeat, Fisher is on the loose! Still no visual on the hostile. No contact on Fisher. It's not too shabby.
not seeing anything. Can't find Fisher or anything else around here. But be careful. Guy's badass. Just us. It's gotta be close. Keep your hands on a swivel. Nothing to report. If they frosty, he's gotta be close by. I have nothing. We better find Fisher fast. Some of us have to join Colonel Reed. No sign of movement. Everybody stay alert and report anything suspicious. You have to do a lot better than that. Let's try, hot shot. Here somewhere, man. I can feel it. Yeah, right. Huh? Oh! No contact. Repeat, no contact. Ooh. What the? Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. Requesting reinforcements! Backup's on route. God damn it! Area. Over there! I think the target's right there! Hold it! The area's compromised. Looks like an ambush. Hold position. Let the contact make the next move. The area ahead is not secure. I'm holding position here. Nothing to report. Can't be anyone from the inside. It's gotta be Fisher. No contact. No contact. I've got no contact with Fisher. I don't... Shit! I'm looking at an ambush. Holding position. Contact! <laughs> Clear. Anything on the security feed? I'm sure Fisher wants to see our new layout. Oh man! Oh. No movement. No sign of the hostile. Oh, what?
Don't want to try those odds again. open. Look, Reed, this was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me! I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do something about it. Nice to see you again. Look, Fisher, I can explain! He's Nobody's coming to save you this time, Henri. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And sighted in DC, I, I helped set it up, it's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president? They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. They'll paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit. Tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you! She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Mokito's pocket. 
Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. I don't know anything about her. Fisher. Like I said, they gave me a picture. Told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for third echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. I just had an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with the VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. <sighs> So, 
Zone's clear. clear. Mm. That's bad. Not good. That's easy, man. I'll take it from here. No contact. We're clean here. Eyes and ears, people. Could have been anyone's getting my power out of you. Nothing to report. Can't find Fisher or anything else around here. But be careful. The guy's badass. Area's clear. See Fisher. Are we sure he's here in third echelon? Everything's clear on my end. No fissure, no employees left, nothing. All clear here. Ooh. Damn. I'm gonna get the 
The guy who did this, count on it. I have nothing. We better find Fisher fast. Some of us have to join Colonel Reed for the main event. Looks like there's nothing. Let's get back to work, but keep your eyes. I'll find the hostile. Nothing to report. Can't These assholes! Targets at this time. Whoa! Fuck! I think I got a fix. He's over there. Clear. Looks clear. Sam Fisher's not around for now. 
I'll get the bastard who did this, man. I promise you that. It's here somewhere, man. I can feel it. Nothing new to report. No sign of him. He's gonna be here somewhere. Anything on the security feed? Mr. Fisher wants to see our new layout. No activity. Clear. in our building. Find him! Still 
searching. No sign of the hostile. We're clear. Stop the gun! So tell me about Sarah, Grimm. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher? I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her, one coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I faked Sarah's death, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there, which means this has to stay hidden. You and I, that's all. Perhaps someday... Haven't you heard? He's dead! Just ask my daughter. Sam, please! My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing and we can't stop it. Then what do you need me for? They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable it. Why should I? Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. And the other two? There's only time to go after one. So go. Save your daughter. I was never holding her. That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. What about you? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the President. Maybe I'll see you there. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Sam, help me launch Protocol 2319. Get out of there, now! Warning, Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Jesus Christ!
Holy f***ing outfit! Warning. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. So now Sam knew everything. Knew that the best friend he'd murdered had betrayed him for the best reason in the world. Knew that the thing he'd helped Lambert build needed to be utterly destroyed. He was his own man now. And all his ties to his old life were gone. Except for Grim. She called me to call in a favor. It was too late to go for the other EMPs, but she did want me to go get Sarah. Sam deserved that much, at least. Meanwhile, she'd be at the White House doing whatever the hell she thought she could do there. So, I said yes. No way I was gonna leave Sarah down there for when the shit hit the fan. And I wasn't gonna abandon her father. Not even when he just waded in and started beating answers out of people. Then again, that was pure Sam. Pure Sam when he got mad. <laughs>